that I'm always game for a, 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 a fast clip, you know, to leave them hanging. I'm a ball. What is, I, I, that's a really interesting question. Nobody has asked me that before. And what has changed, like, from my early days when I was first starting out to where I'm at now? Um, gosh, I would just say, you know, just the, the, the confidence. I know what I'm doing, you know, and, and just, uh, you know, being comfortable and knowing where you're at and, uh, and knowing people, you know, in, in the beginning it was you didn't know anybody, you know, and and, uh, and you're you're constantly, you know, second guessing yourself in the beginning. Like, gosh, did I do that right? Now it's like, you know, I guess with experience comes that level of confidence where you're like, you know what, I I, I did what I did, and I'm leaving it behind, and I'm off to the next thing. And so having the ability to do that, I think, is probably one of the best things about becoming more seasoned as an actor. Uh, really, in any career that you do, the more experience that you have, the more seasoned you become in it, and the you know the, 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 you become an expert. In it. Absolutely, big time, big time. Yes. Uh, first of all, since you mentioned your role, Gerard, uh, in the character, I'm going to say to you, if they ever done hardcore journeys with our adventure, you need to try out for your Chicago era. Okay. And my question is. If, if you were in the Holy Grail War, who would your servant be? Who would my servant be? Yeah. Who would he go to me? <laughs> I, no, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Who would you uh, think? Would I would be? say maybe Ryder. Ryder? Do you guys see Ryder? Uh, sure. <laughs> All right. Sorry, no, I, I, I don't have a good answer for that, but I loved your question. Thank you. Hey, guys, so here's the thing. Um, I was at opening ceremonies, and uh, that kept me and it ran late. Uh, I'm happy to stay a few extra minutes and, and continue to ask, uh, answer questions if you're interested. I don't know if I have a hard out in here. Do I have a, Sydney's in the back. Sydney, do I have a hard out? Um, you can stay a couple more minutes, probably. Okay, how about I take two more questions? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, do you have any fun drunk stories? <laughs> and also, if you get a chance, where are you, Deadpool or Joker? Joker, definitely. Um, drunk stories? <laughs> okay, I have, I have a drunk story. I'll, I'll make this quick. So I was, uh, I was at a convention and there was a VIP Saturday night thing where um, attendees, if they were VIPs, could come and have a cocktail hour with all of the guests. And so I was up there and we were meeting and greeting everybody and there was this young man who probably came up to here on me and weighed about 15 pounds wet. And, um, <laughs> really scrawny dude. And he comes up and uh, he's just hammered. And he was like, hey, who are you? And so I told him, you know, and he's like, I don't know who you are. It's like, okay. And so he had asked me, you know, a couple of uh, roles and I named off whatever role it was that he was a huge fan of. So then he's like, oh my God, can I get a picture? And I said, like, yeah, let's get a picture, man. And so he's getting in the, the picture. Somebody's taking our picture and I see Travis William, who's a couple people over it, and uh, I said, hey, Trav, get the picture with us, man. So Travis comes walking over to get the picture with us, and those of you who don't know Travis William is, William is he's this huge, like, football, <laughs> pro football looking dude, right? <laughs> and he's, uh, Travis and I are wearing the same shoes, and so I said, hey, nice kicks, man. And this guy between us thought that I was insulting his shoes, <laughs> and so immediately in his drunken mind decided that he needed to fight me. <laughs> So Travis looks at him and he's like, how much have you had to drink? <laughs> and this, he slurs and then Travis just grabs him and he's like, you're out of here, buddy. So he escorts him out. Dude shows up in my autograph line the next morning, no recollection that he wanted to <laughs> Tomorrow, I've got a panel tomorrow. It's David Vincent's voice acting tryouts. Please look at the schedule. I don't know exactly what it is. I believe it's around this time tomorrow. I think it's six o'clock, same time tomorrow. I don't know where it's at either. Sydney is looking it up. 302A. It's where? 302A. 302A. Tomorrow at six? Yes. Before you leave, before you leave, 
Ladies and gentlemen, please. Um, some voice actor friends of mine and I are doing a experiment. Uh, a lot of times we get a lot of social media um, messages and whatnot, and, and you guys, it just gets buried. And so that we feel bad because we're like, gosh, you know, we're not responding to the messages and they think we're jerks. So it's a conundrum that, that I got together with some of my friends, my, my voice actor and industry friends, and we're trying to figure out a way to, to solve this problem. So what we're doing is we're doing a, a, an experiment with a Facebook group, a closed Facebook group. And it's called Anime Unlocked. And so if you can go onto Facebook, and um, I've got links and all sorts of stuff, but I'm just gonna tell you this. Go onto Facebook and just look for Unlocked or Anime Unlocked. There's, here's the thing is, there's a, a defunct Anime Unlocked and then there's Us. And um, try to find the one that's Us. <laughs> How much more vague can I be? Let me try. Go and try and find Anime Unlocked um, on your Facebook, and it's a private group. Join the group, because a bunch of me and my voice actor buddies, like Cassandra Lee Morris, Jeremy Lee, Bryce Pappenbrook, um, and a whole lot more are doing fun stuff in that group to interact. Uh, so if you can look that up, it's Anime Unlocked, it's a closed Facebook group, and please join. We'd love to have you join with us. Yeah. It's the one with the key. It's the one with the key. Okay. The one with the key. How did you find it? I looked up in a man lost. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. She looked it up. <laughs> well, please do. It, it has a little key in the logo. And, um, yes. Uh, if you can, uh, Look it up, that would be awesome, and join. We would love to have you be a part of it, and we're doing lots of fun stuff, and we love your guys' feedback so that we can do some fun stuff together. Okay? Thank you, guys. Did you enjoy the panel? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And please come tomorrow. I promise it's going to be a lot of fun.